y'all, but if you look in the distance, there's like hundreds and hundreds of windmills. Windmills? Yeah, windmills. Um, I guess they're for generating electricity, but it's a freaking awesome sight to see. They're, some of them are spinning, but not very much. There must not be a lot of wind today. They're going very slowly. But a lot of people think it's a terrible sight to see. But I think it's kind of neat. And it's generating energy and harnessing nature to generate the energy. And it's almost like um, artwork. They're actually quite beautiful. Take exit 117 for California 62 toward 29 Palms, Yucca Valley. for California 62 toward 29 Palms, Yucca Valley. Awesome. Thanks, Sandy. So, Gertie gave me fits this morning, but all is well that ends well. Um, I ended up at this BLM dry lake bed. BLM North, it's called. Look at that. I'm in a dry lake. What are you doing back there, Colleen? I'm just rearranging stuff. <laughs> How pretty the sunset is tonight out here in the dry lake bed BLM and north of Joshua Tree. Look at that. It's freaking amazing. It's been amazing almost every place I've been out here. So pretty. You just go around. And it's pretty all the way around. And I didn't do much of anything today. I was super tired. Um, so I laid about in my van most of the afternoon. We had high winds today and I just rested. Um, yeah. Um, beautiful ending to uh, a pretty relaxing day. And the sun is setting there. This is our camp. It's the three of us right now. So we're just outside of Joshua Tree. We're going to go in and explore Joshua Tree tomorrow. Goodbye, BLM North. You were awesome for a couple of days. Good morning, y'all. We are leaving the BLM in uh, North Joshua Tree. And we're going to drive through Joshua Tree National Park today. So I'm excited about seeing all the Joshua Trees and things like that. So I will bring you along. Let's do it. First, we have to make it out of the dry lake bed, though. <laughs> it's bumpy. So, the Mojave symbol is this tree called the Joshua tree. Can you see them all out there? Pretty cool. And um, as we move away from the Mojave, they go away. But these are what they look like. And it's hard to see them all out there. How these form. There's one called Skull Rock. And I'll take you to it. It's right by the road. So this is Skull Rock. Hello. Can you see? I think it's 
standing in his eye or something. I'm not sure. Skull Rock. So we stopped at this picnic area, Live Oak Picnic area. And these giant boulders have these amazing uh, rock formation banding in them. And it looks totally man-made, like somebody put that layer right in between that. Look how freaking awesome that is. It looks like somebody totally like decided they're gonna put a band right through this, all these rock formations. And it erodes differently. So it leaves, look at this, how this just eroded right out. Looks like somebody cut it. <gasps> oh my God. What is it? It was a lizard. I got up for it up close and he was sunning himself. He crawled, there he is. Can you see him? Right in there. Oh, I got too close in case he jumps on me. Can you see the lizard? What kind? He's got a striped tail. like a little adrenaline after lunch. So this is super cool. See that banding? It's amazing. Naturally formed by Mother Nature. So this is the Chola Cactus Garden. And there's hundreds of them. Can you see how many? tons and there's lots of bees. It said beware of the bees. Ooh. That looks like it would hurt if you bumped into it. <laughs> Prickly. Prickly, prickly. Alright, I am just outside of Joshua Tree State Park along Highway 10 and I'd love to get a couple of samples of rock from the area. Rocks. These are nice, I think he said. Different types of no. I'll have to look again. It's the same thing that the jumbo rocks are made out of. get bitten by a snake. These are cool. Ha, ha, ha. 